For most people, cycle training is just a distant memory. It was called the cycling proficiency test, and it involved no more than wobbling your way around a series of cones in a school playground. It was fine when it was first developed by CTC in 1939, but since then road conditions have really changed, and so has cycle training. Well, bikeability is the cyclist proficiency for the 21st century. It's designed to teach tr people how to ride, some, ride their bicycles in real situations, in real traffic conditions that we find today. It's divided into three levels. There's level one, uh, which is uh, cycling skills in a traffic free environment. And there's level two, which is designed for children to go cycle to school with. So it's trained on the road, but in a quiet, uh, although trafficked road. And then there's level three, which is really what any, what you want, where you want, wherever you want to go. You cycle to work, cycle to school, cycle to for leisure, and they're designed for the, the person's own requirements. No, it's not. It's for anybody. It's anybody who wants it. And the, bigger, the, the biggest bulk of the trainees will be children cycling to school. But it's for anybody, returnees to cycling, people who, who don't feel that confident cycling in today's traffic, or, or people who just want to cycle on the more advanced roads, like multi-lane roads or roundabouts. Well, the best place to find out more is on the National, National Helpline, National Cycle Training Helpline, which is hosted by the CDC. Um, to get there, just go onto the website www.ctc.org.uk forward slash cycle training.